Hello, it's Adonis Turner of Adonis Power and Conditioning, and here's a workout summary from today's workout. Um, starting off today, we got Amy. Um, she had a pretty light day overall. Um, she's doing front squats. Front squats are probably one of the most challenging exercises because you have to um, stay pretty upright and keep a tight core as you go up and down. If you lean too far forward, you're gonna your body's gonna get out of position, and the bar um, the bar's gonna essentially fall forward. This exercise is a good um, way to tell what muscular imbalances you have, whether you have a tight back, tight hamstrings, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Your body will negatively give in a direction based off of what problems you have um, with your musculature. But Amy's pretty good at staying upright and pretty flexible in her wrist and pretty good, uh, pretty good form, as I see, as you can see right here. I believe she did four sets of twelve to stay with just the bar. Um, here's me with a conservative max at 435. I'm looking at probably taking a deload for the next five days, but by not lifting heavy for that time and just doing speed work because this does not feel good, but I completed it nonetheless. My, my lower back is pretty sore. As you can see how slow I am into the hole. Just felt uh, not the best this day. Um, Amy does, and sorry about the lighting, dumbbell deadlifts with 60 pounds. Again, she's staying pretty upright to minimize the lower back assistance, but maximize the hamstring work as she does this. She also does two seconds up and two seconds down to really focus on building muscle in her hamstrings. Um, I forget how many reps she does, but as you can see, this is a pretty easy exercise depending on what your goals are. Yeah, I think it's 60 or 65 pounds. After this, Amy, um did with the landmine uh, equipment we have she did t-bar rows um, again she's just doing the bar um, when she lifts weight sometimes it's too taxing and her body ends up being sore for long periods of time so what we're working on now is easing her back into it that way her body's not taxing for four or five days at a time and she can work out more frequently so she's going very very easy and staying very very strong um, after the squat, I did, this is my last set of Adonis five turn. with 275 for a lighter set for me, uh, just to get more reps in. But this is, I only did about six sets of leg exercises today, which I usually do about 10 or 11. So I took it a little bit easier today just because I just wasn't feeling the best, but I still wanted to do something. Um, also, I believe I think I need new knee sleeves. I think I worn worn out the threading in these ones, but you know, first world problems or gym problems, um, I'll have to work on either. After that, um, Amy. Well, I don't know if it's directly after that, but here's a set where Amy is doing one. Well, she's doing a set of ten with the tires. Um, and then a set of 20 with the abs. Yeah. So what happened was she did a total of five sets of 10 supersetting tire flips and then 20 ab crunches. This is a, this tire we have right here is 277 pounds and the ones to the right of her are 700 and about 500. But as you can see she's uh, excuse me, she's using her hamstrings to drive her feet through the floor and also using her upper body to lift the tire up. There you go. Um, this is something you could do with basically any size tire relative to your strength. And I'm, I'm not sure what number she's on, but she barred my wrist wraps because I think she said she was having a hard time with her wrists um, during this exercise, but she ended up getting through it nonetheless. And she actually is probably going to get her own wrist wraps down the road. After she does tire flips, like I said, she's going to do 20, 20 reps um, with a 25 pound dumbbell with for ab crunches, decline. She basically focuses on how she feels. The thing with abs as opposed to squats, bench and deadlift, you kinda can, the form is kinda relative to the person's uh, leverages and how they feel, similar to like bicep curls. So this is, this shorter range of motion sometimes is the best for Amy because that's what makes her abs feel good. You don't necessarily have to copy off of Amy, but you just have to find your sweet spot when doing abs. After she completes that, I did push sled, three sets of one minute as fast as I could. Um, this, Go. every time I look at this video, I've looked at it probably about three times. It doesn't really look like I'm trying, but I promise you, 
it is extremely difficult. The, there is a latch on the left hand side that controls the resistance which allows you to not necessarily put a bunch of weight on to get resistance and um, the tank, I think it's called the tank 1.0 it, 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 you can also put place on top of it to increase resistance More on top of one. having it at the higher resistance so I'm just basically driving my toes to the ground and trying to go as fast as possible and it's very very exhausting but I'm not, I'm not going very fast because basically the equipment won't let me. So Hurry up. You, I don't know if your gym has this. It probably doesn't. So you can come to mine and try it out and see for yourself how difficult it is and try the five seconds, different varying on. resistance. So I think I have about five more seconds left. And that's it. And we're about done. Yep. And to finish off Amy's workout, she did, I think she does, I think she's doing like three sets of 20 or three sets of 25 leg raises. Doing it on the bench allows her to get more range of motion as opposed to doing it on the floor. When you do it on the bench, your heels can go past uh, past the line that you, the bench makes. Unlike the floor, if you hit the floor, you just essentially stop. Um, you have to hold on to the bench so you're not distracted by, you know, when your legs go down, your whole body coming up. Sometimes if your legs are heavy enough and you're not having your hands behind your head, then your body will come up with it. At least that's what happens to me. It may not happen to you, but it depends on the person. But it's just good for control. Um, but yeah, she was she did very very well today. She did about forty percent weight, sixty percent conditioning, and she likes conditioning more than weight. So we're going to start revolving around revolving revolving the workouts around the, the conditioning work. Um, find what you like in the gym. That way, you can continue to progress in that area. It yeah, is so Amy. hard to find what you like in the gym, but once you do, try to strive for the best. You survived. As you can see, Amy, extremely tired, and here I am, you know, just messing with her, just videoing her, because I know we'll put this on YouTube, but anywho, she made it, like she survived, she's better for it, <laughs> and here we are. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for the next video where I'll give you a brief gym tour. You guys have a good one.